What's up guys, in this short tutorial, I will show you how to prevent Fortnite from randomly lagging and freezing while playing it on PC. This should be quite an easy tutorial, but if you still have any questions, then leave a comment and let me know. If you're running the minimum system requirements, then these tweaks will help you out a lot. Everything you need will be listed in the description below. We will first take a look at the in-game settings, as these can help you out a lot in fixing your lag issues. Navigate to your video settings. Here, set the window mode to full screen. I have set it to windowed as it's easier to record. Set the resolution to your native monitor resolution. And set the frame rate limit to a value above your monitor's refresh rate and below the maximum FPS you can get, which will save you some resources. These four settings will not affect your performance. And below, set the quality preset option to medium or low depending on your system's specifications. Set the 3D resolution to 100%, but if you still experience lag after all of these tweaks, then you should lower the setting too, as the graphics card is probably bottlenecking your performance. Set the view distance to far, and make sure that the other graphics quality options are set to low or medium. In the advanced graphics settings, disable VSync and motion blur. When this is done, Leave the game running and open up your task manager. Here in the processes tab, right click Fortnite and select to go to details. In the details tab, the Fortnite client win64shipping.exe process should be highlighted. Simply right click it and set the priority to high. This will in turn allocate more resources to playing the game and should increase your performance, especially if you have other programs running in the background. Next, you should also end some CPU intensive programs which you don't need to be running while playing the game, such as your browser running in the background, Steam, or your antivirus application. But make sure to only end the processes which you know won't break your operating system. In the Startup tab, you can additionally prevent some programs from starting up on system boot. This will lower your overall CPU usage while using your PC. You can now close the game and your task manager. Next, search for graphic settings and open up your graphic system settings. On this window, select Browse and your file explorer will open up. From here, navigate to the drive on which you saved the game on. Program Files, Fortnite, Fortnite Game, Binaries, Win64. In the Win64 folder, Make sure to select the Fortnite client application with the biggest file size and select Add. Once it's added, you can change the options of the application so that the graphics preference is set to high performance. Don't forget to save your changes. In your system settings, search for Game Bar to open up the Game Bar system settings. Here, uncheck the recording option and in the Captures tab, Make sure to additionally disable the background recording option. These settings will only reduce your performance. If you want to record your gameplay, then I suggest using OBS Studio or an external capture card if you lack performance. When this is done, we will take a look at your GPU settings and driver. Open up your Nvidia control panel by right-clicking your desktop and selecting it. You can do the same step with the AMD driver suit. Here, go to Manage 3D Settings and then Program Settings. Select to add a program to customize and then add Fortnite from the program list. Below, we will change a few settings. Make sure that the CUDA setting is set to your main GPU. Set the power management mode to prefer maximum performance and set the texture filtering quality to performance. Lastly, open up your GeForce Experience application or AMD equivalent to update your graphics card. Depending on how frequent you're updating your GPU, this tweak can make the biggest difference. In the Drivers tab, simply click on Download and the application will automatically download and install the latest driver. Also, make sure that your operating system is up to date to get the most out of your system. I hope this helped you out. Leave a comment if you have any questions and see you in the next one.